In this video, we're going to create a more advanced moving average and we're going to print the data frame on Streamlit uh, with Streamlit on our web app and we're going to display a candlestick pattern chart. We have two moving averages. By standard, it's the 9 moving average and the 20 moving average, but we can change it to the 20 and 50 moving average and then it will change. We can change the stock, which is standard Apple. We can change it to Microsoft. So we get the moving average of Microsoft and we can change the dates. Standard, I took two years of data, but we can change it to, for example, 2017. And here we can zoom in on the, if it works, we can zoom in on the candlestick pattern to get a more detailed um, view of the stock movements. So I'm going to head over to my editor and I'm going to start coding. I created a new folder, technical indicators, and I created a new file, moving average candle chart dot uh, I think we need about 50 lines of code to make this. So we need to import white finance to get the stock, the price information. We need to import Streamlit as ST. We need to import Pandas as PD. Import plotly.graph object as Go. If we haven't installed it, we need to do pip install plotly.graph objects. And we need to import date time. Import date time. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is to set page configuration and I'm going to give it a title, which is moving average candlestick chart. And I'm going to set layout to white, layout white. So we have a nice view. I'm going to set a header for the sidebar, uh, sidebar header and select ticker and date and i'm going to set today as date time the date time of today date time dot date dot today let's go back so, okay. and ticker ticker equals to st sidebar dot text input so we can choose our tickers and ticker and standards i'm gonna put apple so it's not gonna give an error when we open the application uh, i'm gonna set another header for the main page and i'm gonna call it also moving average and candle stick chart of and plus ticker plus apple okay and i'm going to set start and end date so start date equals two and i'm going to set it two years in the past and i'm going to say st sidebar dot text input and start date and I'm going to set it to 2021, 1128. And end date will be today. And ST sidebar dot text input and date. And here we need to write F, which is a standard format of uh, Python, and here we give a variable today. And so by default, it will take the date uh, as today for the end date. You have two moving averages, so I'll say average one equals to st sidebar number input, and so we're going to say insert a moving average. And by default, it will be 9, so value equals to 9. 
and I'm going to copy and paste this one to create a second average and it's going to be average 2 variable and standard will be the 20 moving average all right so we're going to set the starting end date to a PD date time so we get no errors and PD2 date time and passing the start date variable and end equals to PD.2 date time and end date. Okay, now I'm going to download the data. So data equals to yf.download. Uh, pass in ticker and then pass in start and end and we're going to get a data frame so we'll print the data frame as the data frame which will be data I will set width to 1800 and I will set height to 600 and I'll say df pd dot data frame data And now I'm going to create two moving averages. So it will be moving average one. And we're going to use the rolling function. So we're going to say it equals to df dot close dot rolling. And I'm passing first variable. And I'm going to take the mean of that. Mean. Okay. Now I'm going to copy and paste it to create our second moving average will be MA2 and this one will be average 2 all right so now we're going to plot it so we're going to say fig equals to go dot figure and data equals to go dot candlestick and now we're going to pass in the x-axis, x equals to df.index, which will be the date. And the open will be df.open, open equals to df.open, and high will be df.high. Low. Will be df dot low and close will be df dot close and name will be candlestick pattern candlestick candlestick. All right, so what we have to do. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so next we're going to plot the two moving averages. So we're going to write row scatter. And x will be again the date. So it will be x equals to df dot index. And y will be the first moving average. And a1. And colors will be we'll take orange and blue. So y equals to dict color. Color is orange. Orange and width will be one. Okay, and the name will be moving average one. So name equals to moving average one. Okay, so now I'm going to add the second moving average. So I can just copy and paste that. I'm going to change DFMA to DFMA2, and color will be maybe in the red. And this one will be moving average two. All right. So what do we have to do else? Mm, I think we should do something. We can 
just the, oh man, maybe I will set the height and width also of the graph. So I'll say fit dot updates layouts. And I'll say auto size is false. And the width will be 1400. And height will be 800. It depends on your screen. And if you have a small screen, you have to adjust the width and height to your screen. Um, and now we're going to say st.plotly charts and we're going to pass in variable fig. Okay, so we have 36 lines. I think that should be enough to. I haven't made any mistakes. I'll save it and I will try to run it. So we're going to say stream did run moving average angle chart.py. And I'm going to head over to the browser to check if everything is correct. And we have our candlestick pattern. We have our two moving averages, red and orange, moving average one and two. And uh, we can zoom in. Okay, that works. And we can change the ticker. Okay, that's Microsoft. We can change the dates. I'll take 2011. Okay. Okay, that works. And we can change the moving averages to 16 and maybe 200. Okay, so that works. So everything works. So that's how we can make a moving average and on a candlestick chart and how we can display it with Streamlit.